Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy King James here. All right, let's talk about meta guns for a second. These are the guns that everybody uses, the most popular. So we're talking about the Krig, the Car, the Swiss, the Mac, you know, the uh, the Bullfrog, etc. I've covered a bunch of those guns, and they're all great. But sometimes some guys don't want to run meta. They want to run off meta guns that you don't, you know, people don't normally use. And I've been playing with a couple lately that have been suggested to me while on stream, and I've seen them in a couple other guys' loadouts. But definitely off the meta and off the beaten path and I'm talking about the QBZ 83 it's never really been a great gun nobody's ever really used it it's never been on the meta ladder but it could be and I've got a really awesome build and some comparison for you right now All right, so let's start by looking at the time to kill. And I know this isn't everything, but it is important to a lot of guys. And when you look at the QBZ, the orange line, it's a little better than the Krig up close by about, say, 30 milliseconds. But at range, this is where it matters. Check it out. 746 versus 873. That's 120 milliseconds different. That is not small. That is, you know, probably two or three shots. So this is definitely going to make a difference. This gun is actually better. And when we look at the summary stats, well, it has about the same fire rate. The ADS time is actually quite a bit better on the QBZ. The sprint to fire and tactical sprint to fire is about the same. Movement speed, that's the thing about the QBZ. It's always a high been, been a high movement speed gun. That's what it was made for. But I'm using it at range. It's better for the movement speed. And then you get into like bullet velocity. It's exactly the same. And they say reload time is the same, but I actually think the QBZ is a tiny bit different. Now, you're looking at this and saying, well, maybe the ta maybe the Krig just is better, uh, you know, has lower recoil and is easier to shoot. Well, I went in and I wanted to check and see if that was the case. And let's have a look. So check out this side by side of me using the two guns together. And it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot more visual recoil. Both of them work pretty good. Here's a bit of a slow-mo. You can see me shooting there and you know, both of the reticles are pretty well bouncing around at exactly the same rate. So then I decided I better jump in and do a recoil test and see what it really looks like really and truly. And here's the QBZ. I shot it up the wall and surprisingly, it has very little horizontal or vertical and doing a controlled shot. Look at how nice and easy that is to shoot. It's going right in the center perfectly fine. So then I'm like, I better grab the Krig and try it. And you can see the Krig, it has a definitely more horizontal and a little bit more vertical. So the Krig actually has more recoil than the QBZ. But when I'm shooting it, I get a pretty tight dot on it as well, because let's be honest, it's pretty easy to control and I'm used to it. But I want to look at the two of them side by side, you can see the QBZ is easily as good or better than the Krig, which is pretty surprising. I wanted to also try the reload out to see if it really was the same. And watch this side by side. So I started each one and I think the QBZ was a tiny bit faster. I don't know. I'll play it again. You tell me. Play. Doesn't it look like the QBZ finishes just a hair faster than the Krig? Now, to be honest, the thought to use the QBZ came from Horror Gaming, who was watching me on Twitch. And if you want to check me out on Twitch, there's a link right down below. It's just King James 911T, the same as my name here on YouTube. And he said, hey, why don't you try out the QBZ? It's worth a look. And, well, I never really tried it before, so I just loaded it up in the lobby, and I shot a couple of guys, and I was like... I'm sort of impressed. I didn't think it was going to be that good. And there's a few other people who commented on some of my videos saying the same thing. Robert Reeves Jr. also commented on one of my videos saying, hey, QBZ is worth a look. And another guy whose name I'm pretty sure swear words in Spanish, so I'm not going to say it, is saying, hey, check out the QBZ. So I did, and check out this gameplay. So I was jumping in with my buddies here, and I'm running with the CX-9, and look at this guy right up close. Even up close, this thing wrecks because, well, it's got a pretty good time to kill for an up-close gun. And I was challenged by a guy right here who was shooting me at the same time. I don't know what he was using, but guess who got the down and who didn't? So the QBZ at range and close, man, this thing's really good. And, of course, with that perk, you can see through the wall. You can see how clearly you know, that perk helps you, and it really works. I just like that it outlines things when I'm shooting them. And and, you know, the power that it has and how easy it is to shoot, it didn't used to be like that. It used to be a lot more difficult to use, and now it isn't. And even at range, look at this, it's nice and smooth, it's easy to shoot, you can get those downs with it. And that's one thing that you're really looking for with an AR. That's why the Krig is so popular. But to be honest, this is the same as the Krig, has the same low recoil that the Krig has, but it actually has a faster time to kill. So is it better than the Krig? I don't know. I honestly think it is. And why aren't more people using it? Why 
isn't it the meta gun? Maybe because people don't know about it. Well, that's what I'm here to talk to you about, right? This is an off meta gun that you can try if you don't want to run the crit. You want to run something different? The QBZ is it. It. I, I really enjoyed using it. I had lots of guys, you know, that I was able to get down because it's just a smooth shooting, fun to use gun. All right, so as I said, I've been carrying the QBZ with the CX-9. I haven't done a video on the CX-9 yet, but if you haven't tried it, it's actually pretty good. I enjoyed using it as an SMG, but I'll do that later on. We're here to talk about the QBZ. And just before I jump into my loadout, I want to say thank you to everybody who's recently subbed to the channel. I really appreciate all the love and support. So thank you guys, really and truly. And if you haven't subbed to the channel, hit the sub button and hit the um, notification bell. So you'll know when I got new videos coming out. All right, let's have a look at my QBZ loadout. All right, so my loadout for the QBZ is exactly the same as the Krig. It's just your standard AR loadout. There's nothing special about it. So muzzle, agency suppressor for sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range. For the barrel, task force, we've been using this on a lot of guns lately. So more bullet velocity, horizontal recoil control, effective damage range, and vertical recoil control. That's probably what makes this thing such a smooth shooting gun. Of course, the Axial Arms 3X or the Royal and Cross 4X, whatever you like to use. For the underbarrel, grab that field agent grip. You know the one, it really good for horizontal and vertical recoil control and ammunition, that 60 round drum or 60 round mag that you're using on all your guns. This is your standard meta AR build, but on an off meta gun. And to be honest, I actually think I like this better than the Krig. And I really like the Krig, Krig's a great gun, but off meta and completely different yet as effective or more effective, really, here's the QBZ. I don't know why guys aren't using this thing a lot more. Just, anyways guys give me your thoughts on the comment section down below do you think the qbz can take over the krig or maybe people are just so used to it being a close range bad gun that they're not thinking about it you know hopefully this video can change some minds and maybe if you haven't tried it yet you can get in and give it a shot especially if you're sort of tired of the you know regular meta guns you want to try something a little bit different you get some interesting death comms when people see that you're not using meta, meta guns so that's also kind of fun i enjoy the gun it's very smooth it's got a faster time to kill uh, it's and it's off meta so you know the, what more to say other than that and i think that's sort of where a lot of times i like to go is not use the sort of standard guns that everybody's using i think it's getting a little boring it's fun to use different stuff and this is definitely different the pick rate on this gun is really low so you know if you want to try something different this is probably a good option for you and i think it's actually a little bit better if i don't know hit me in the comments and change my mind if you if you think it's not i couldn't find a way that the krig was better than the qbz so anyways let let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, if you don't see me in Warzone, if you don't see me in multiplayer, it's only a matter of time, baby. King James out.